Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to this video of Mark Change Watchers of Tally ERP9 by Software at Work, which is an important tool for the consultant and for the organization which they can use that internally. Now let's see its benefits and the uses of this Mark Change Watchers. Many times the business take the help of the consultant for filing the returns and auditing their books. So when the consultant modify their client books, they have to ensure that the books reflect the final values. To address this need, the Mark Change Watcher of Tally ERP9 will be very useful to identify the list of the changed watcher. This feature is also helpful to the consultant to keep the track of the changes of the transaction without hampering the current operation of the client. So if they want to change the transaction then they don't have to say to the client that you just shut down your operation or make the zero downtime of their operation. They can make the changes independently. Third, it eliminates the need for the sending the complete backup of the client data as only the required XML will have to be sent. So it's very important. Nothing they have to do the backup of the data because presently what happens, the client send the backup of the data and then the auditor or the consultant open it and then do the changes and do and then do the changes. So if anything after the backup or something is not been restored properly, so that gets a problem in counter. So hence that inconvenience will get resolved if we use this mark change watcher here. This feature is also useful to track the changes done by the staff internally if we make this use of this mark change watchers in the organization internally. Now let's see through the product walkthrough of this mark change watchers here in the product itself. Now this is the company, let's say this is a client data. Okay, now the client has done some entries here so you can see here it has done the entries of salaries and wages staff and welfare and convenience and other things right so this is all the transition which have been done at the client place right now let's say the client has given the data okay to the consultant now when the consultant opens the data let's say the consultant opens the data here okay now this is the consultant data so what happens the client has sent the data to their consultant or the auditor to check and verify the transaction now let's say this our company software at work which we have sent as mark chain watcher here this is what we say at this is the data of the consultant from which he has received from the client right now you can see here now to enable to activate this feature under the F11, there is a feature there under the F11 accounting features. So if you go to the F11 accounting features, enter, see this is mark change watcher here. So this is what we can say as the data of the client. Okay, and the consultant is opening this data. Now here, there is a feature here mark change watchers. So the consultant what he do, he will just put it mark change watcher. It means he's marking the watchers which he will change it. So he's just putting in a separate bucket. So this is a new feature which Tally has come with. Okay, so just you can see here, this is the, what we can say here, this is the client data which the consultant has opened and enabled the mark change watchers. Okay, now I do one thing. First of all, I will just close this walk, uh, this client's data. So first of all, let's see, this is the data opened by the consultant by activating the mark change watchers. Okay, so again, I just repeat, I have just gone to the F11 features here and I have just marked it as mark change watchers. Now you can see here, these are all the transactions which has been recorded. You can see salaries and wages, staff welfare. Now this is all the data of the client which he has given or provided to the consultant. Now let's say the consultant has gone to one of the watcher and found that there is some corrections here. So let's say he has done some correction. Instead of 12,000, he has done it as 30,000. Okay, so he has just gone to it and done the changes here. Then again, if there is suppose we can say it's convenience, he has come with convenience and he found there is some changes. So he done the changes here and he is an accepted here, right? So in this way, he has done some changes. So here, even the changes of the transaction or the cancellation can also be the part of the mark change watchers here. Now, this part has been done here. Now, to see such a report here, so from gate of tally display 
exception reports and here you can see marked watches so whatever the changes that has been done here can get it all so there is an option here clear all his marking if you want to clear all marking you can clear all marking or if you want the export history you can see the export history here so you can see export history or you can see that is the clear all marking option here now still we have not exported that is why it is not coming into the export history now you can see here all the changes has been done i can do one thing i can also again clear all the marking here and i can just do it clear all marking i say yes now let's say again i will do here again somewhat i will do the changes here let's say the auditor again do the final changes so let's say this is 12000 okay and then again it found here some changes here so let's say 23000 here okay and again keep it here track 60 so let's say he had make it 50000 here so keep it record that we have done the changes so auditor has done the changes here now again he will see the report display exception reports and you can see her marked watches and you can see these three changes we have done it right 12 23000 and this one so we have shown you clear on marking there is an option here and you can see here this all changes has been done by the consultant here so same thing we can use for the internal organization now suppose if the senior accountant or let's say the accounts manager has done all some changes and if any of its staff has done any changes that that track he will get it by here so what are the changes can be done that senior auditor or the senior consultant or the senior accountant or the manager can keep a track of such changes as who has done such a changes here so that is why that is also a uh, what we can say can be useful like an audit trial right now let's say i will export this report so i will go to the export i will take it into the xml format okay enter I can yes export any masters and suppose yes exported file and I can say yes if you want to rename here I can just rename that file like XML or you can keep it same but let's say my date is there so I just put a date let's say 12 1 2019 and I can just export this file here now you can see here now what happened the consultant has done the changes okay now he don't have to send again the backup of the file and to the client so here to just send only the XML file. So you can see this is XML has got generated 12 1 2019. So whatever the changes that consultant has sent, he has to just send this XML file to the client here. Now what the client will do, let's see in the tally itself. Now I will go to the client side, let's say from the client angle, I will shut this consultant data and let's say client is coming here, client open the data, okay. So client has opened the data now whatever the changes see he has worked it simultaneously his work has not been gone any shutdown of stage he's been working parallelly there is no implication on its operational flow is working fine only whatever the changes the consultant has done so he has got his xml file so what he will do from gate of tally he will just go to the import of data and the watches here and then he can select here the file he can save that file and he can select that file with a complete path and just you can see here i can specify the path in that import watches so i can show you from gate of tally i go into the import of data watches and i can specify that path where that xml file is there so the consultant has just sent it that xml file so you can see here how easy it has been there how easily the data can get restored here so just i have just press accept now you can see here the changes which has been done here from display day book so you can see here you can find it whatever the changes the consultant has done the same has been replicated here okay so in this way you can see here whatever the changes has been done the same can be replicated into client data without impacting so you can see here 50000 we have done the changes if you want to see the complete analysis i can just open the same thing okay now you can see here whatever the data is of the client side i just open one tally again
now you can see here the consultant uh, i am opening the consultant data and we can just match here okay so you can see here same thing duplication has been coming here okay so in this way you can find it the relevant changes has been done like 23000 here okay okay so in this way all the changes whatever the consultant has done has been replica been made here so in this way you can see here the consultant has just made the changes and that gets directly impacted into the client data so nothing any sending the files again and whatever it has been changed here has been directly coming here okay so in this way there is a good option here that we cannot send the complete data and whatever the changes has to be done by the consultant he has to send that only xml so this is the what we can say has an important feature for the consultant which he can make it and this tally has come with a new feature of mark change watchers here from release 6.2 so you can use this feature okay so this is the option which we can see here now if any queries relating to the mark change voucher and how to implement it or is there any clarification required you can contact at our number these are our numbers so you can just contact at our email id has been provided here and also you can also register for any upcoming webinars events or workshops or we have a camps so that site is there www.soindia.com slash gst so in this way you can go here i hope that this video will be very useful to you uh, and even for the consultant and can get and benefit of this feature here so thank you very much on behalf of software at work